We have all heard of the extinction 66 million years ago when a massive meteor rammed into Earth and killed all of the dinosaurs. But what if I told you that was just one extinction of many? Five in fact are widely recognized by scientists and referred to as the Big Five. If the extinction of the dinosaurs is one of the major extinction events, what are the other four, and what was Earth like in those times? Let's go back in time and take a look. The first of the Big Five extinctions in Earth's history that we know of is the Ordovician Silurian extinction. The Ordovician Silurian extinction happened around 443 million years ago. The Earth was obviously very different than today. Geographically, much of the land on Earth was clustered together in the supercontinent of Gondwana, which included parts of present-day South America, Africa, Antarctica, and Australia. Another supercontinent called Laurentia, which included parts of present-day North America and Europe, was also forming. These land masses were located closer to the equator, with large shallow seas covering many areas. Climate-wise, Earth was in a period of global cooling, with a series of ice ages leading up to the extinction event. The cooling climate caused sea levels to drop and glaciers to form near the poles, resulting in a decline in shallow marine environments. Ecosystems during the Ordovician Silurian extinction were dominated by marine life. The oceans were home to a diverse range of marine organisms, including trilobites, bridge iopods, conodonts, and other marine invertebrates. Coral reefs were also abundant, dominated by tabulate and rugous corals. In the seas, jawed fish such as placoderms were becoming more dominant, and early forms of marine vertebrates, such as early jawed fish and jawless fish, were also present. This extinction event is estimated to have caused the extinction of approximately 85% of all marine species, including many trilobites and brachiopods, likely due to a combination of climate change and glaciation. Now we warp forward 84 million years to 359 million years ago in the late Devonian period. During this time, Earth underwent significant changes in its geography, climate, and ecosystems. Geographically, the continents were slowly moving towards each other to form the supercontinent of Euramerica, which included parts of present-day North America and Europe. Other continents, such as Gondwana, were also undergoing changes in their positions. Climate-wise, the late Devonian was characterized by a warm and tropical climate, with a relatively stable greenhouse climate. However, there were fluctuations in sea level, resulting in the expansion and contraction of shallow marine environments. Ecosystems during the late Devonian were diverse and dominated by marine life. Coral reefs were widespread and diverse, with the peak of reef building coral diversity during this time. Fishes were becoming more diverse and abundant, with the emergence of new groups of jawed fish, such as placoderms and early sharks. Some amphibians were also just starting to colonize land, although terrestrial ecosystems were still relatively sparse compared to marine environments. The late Devonian is also known for the presence of a diverse array of marine invertebrates, including brachiopods, bivivs, gastropods, and cephalopods. Trilobites, which were dominant during earlier periods, were declining in diversity during this time. This extinction event is believed to have resulted in the extinction of about 75% of marine species, including many corals and early fish, possibly caused by a combination of climate change, habitat loss, and anoxic events. Now we flash forward 107 million years to 252 million years ago, and again death is on Earth's doorstep. This extinction is commonly referred to as the Great Dying, and for good reason around 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species died off in this event. This was the Permian-Triassic extinction extinction. Geographically, the supercontinent Pangaea was fully formed on the surface. The climate was generally hot and arid, with extensive deserts and shallow seas dominating the Earth. The exact cause is still debated, but it is believed to have been triggered by massive volcanic activity, an asteroid impact, or changes in climate. The leading theory is the volcanic activity destroying ecosystems and blocking out the sun, thus choking life. Now we move along just 51 million years and we come to the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. The Triassic-Jurassic extinction occurred 201 million years ago and is estimated to have caused the extinction of approximately 50% of marine species, including many marine reptiles, as well as significant terrestrial extinctions. Earth's climate and environments were undergoing significant changes. The supercontinent of Pangaea, which had formed during the Permian period, was still intact, but the climate was transitioning from a mostly hot and arid climate to a more humid and tropical climate. The transition from the Triassic to the Jurassic was also marked by changing sea levels and shifting continents, which had a profound impact on marine and terrestrial ecosystems. Coral reefs, which had flourished during the Triassic, suffered a major decline during this extinction event. Terrestrial ecosystems were also impacted during the Triassic-Jurassic extinction. Many groups of plants and animals, including reptiles, amphibians, and conifers, experienced declines and extinctions. 
however, the event also created opportunities for new groups of organisms to evolve and fill ecological niches left vacant by the extinctions, leading to the rise of new groups of dinosaurs, mammals, and other organisms. This extinction is thought to have been caused by climate change and possibly asteroid impacts. Now we shoot 135 million years forward to about 66 million years ago to find the most famous and most recent of the Big Five, the cretaceous paleogene extinction. During this time Earth was characterized by a warm climate and diverse ecosystems. The supercontinent of Pangaea had already begun to break apart and the continents were moving into positions that are more familiar to us today. The oceans were home to a wide variety of marine life, including marine reptiles, mollusks, and plankton. On land, forests of ferns, cycads, and conifers dominated, and flowering plants, or angiosperms, were becoming more widespread. This event is believed to have been caused by an asteroid impact near the present-day Yucatan Peninsula, resulting in massive fires, darkness, tsunamis and a nuclear winter effect. It is estimated that 75% of all species died in this time. The Big Five certainly does not include all of the major extinctions of Earth, and we learn more every year with ice cores and soil sampling throughout the globe. The Younger Dryas period is one such new extinction event where half of all megafauna on Earth died in a 1300-year period. Research is ongoing, and there is plenty of criticism of the theory, and more work is needed to fully prove its validity. Hope you all enjoyed this rundown of the Big Five. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.